Hello again. Uh, hello from Alessandro. Anaib. So this is now the moment where we improvise. We'll start from contours that we have seen so much until now yep. and see what we can do. And okay. We, so And we don't know what we're going to do. No, we <laughs> have no idea what we're going to do. Okay. So first we want to get a contour, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Uh, from points or what? Yes, from points. Uh, shape contour from points. Can we use one of these uh, different distributions for points? Is mm -hmm. that hard? Like Ah, do you know there's like a disks or uh, you Yeah. How do you do that? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Vector to uh, I don't know if it was uh, uh, wait 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 there is a Gaussian I've seen there is uniform ring. Yes. Un a uniform ring. <laughs> yeah. In, in, in a radius. Keep, yeah, in a radius. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, this is cool. Outer radius. <laughs> so basically, probably generate points inside uh, a, a ring, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, we need. Uh, what is this? True, false, true. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And then I would say we can obify it. And directly. what is. Ah, this gives just one point, and we want actually plural, or what? No, no, we want a list, probably. Um, uh huh. Okay. Okay. So, say. but I saw there was another method was uniform ring. Oh no, uniform ring. Uniforms. Uniforms ring. ring. <laughs> so very. And you say how many you want? Yeah. Um. Uh, like twenty. Oh, twenty. Oh, fifty. Yeah, twenty. Uh, and in see, so this yeah. gives a. Cool. Uh, so basically, what you get here is points randomly. Yeah, and uniformly distributed mm -hmm. inside a ring of these. Yeah, an annulus yeah. of internal radius two, 200 yeah. and external 400. Uh, so we have a contour mm -hmm. we want to draw. Uh, and of course, it's ar in around 0, 0. So exactly, so we have to uh, translate to the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. Disabilitate the field so that we have. Uh, drawer fields null. Super. Okay. <laughs> so it's hard to distinguish from a random distribution. Yeah. So let's obify it uh -huh. directly. Yeah. Uh, just for a moment, I want to try try with two hundred to see. At least we see it's a circle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can see this is a circle. But here, no. <laughs> yeah. You. And you mean hobby? Yeah. Hobby. Like directly here. Hobby. Nice. Okay. So now yeah. we can uh, start playing with uh, sub contours. Mm -hmm. That's it's something that we have not shown, but it's really cool. Yeah. So instead of uh, drawing the contour, mm -hmm. we have this method that is called sub that allows to uh, choose a piece of the curve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And basically, yes, <laughs> we can uh, let's slow the the, the velocity. The velocity. I will that. call it t. Mm -hmm. uh, t and t. Is going to be second times zero point mm -hmm. two. All right. So now the thing we can do, we could uh, put this sub sub contour mm -hmm. in a separate variable, and then compute the self intersection. Mm -hmm. Because why not? Um, new C. Mm -hmm. Or well, new C is this. Yeah. So we take the contour, we calculate the new contour, which yeah. is a sub, uh, and then so far there I don't. Oh yeah, there are sometimes self intersections. There are sometimes self intersections, so we can have points, all points, and say yeah, uh, no intersect probably. Intersection. Intersections between. Of shape between two shape contours. Which are which is the same or new, no? Yeah, new C and new C. And we should be able to get. And we want what the points from there or? Yeah, 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 the points. Map it dot position. Position, and we can draw them. Draw our circles, points. Twenty. Yes, <laughs> we can see now that this thing uh, start to <laughs> appear. Yeah. So now what we could do. So let's remember that these intersections sometimes they are zero. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was wondering, can we make the 
when the intersection appears to make the intersection grow like a drop of water. Ah, nice. We, I think we can, but we have to define an object that gets triggered by the the presence of the intersection. But then we will repeatedly get the same intersection for a while. Yeah, for a while, yes. So we have to check. Uh, that we have to have it has to have a lock. Uh -huh. So that you don't trigger if any of the points, you know, that have been spawned. Uh -huh. At that position, like close to that position, is between you know the lifetime. I would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, of course. You know, okay, but that's that's. Uh, I would do this with <laughs> shaders and uh -huh. you know, tra <laughs> trailers and things like this. But now the interesting thing is that the set of points that uh, appear, yeah, right, um, can be also empty. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I think that one thing we could do, we could uh, have something be affected by the presence of this intersection, mm -hmm. okay? So the thing we can uh, do, we can do the, the following thing. How about we create a shape surrounded by this? Mm -hmm. We deform the shape as we saw with the control points, with, you know, like take a polygon mm -hmm. and substitute to linear segment, uh, maybe quadratic segment, mm -hmm. and we uh, make it move according to the closest of this intersection. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we need a shape that, I mean, hopefully, uh, how to say, contains uh -huh. these uh, Like points. a large Yeah, pen a, la pentagon. a large pentagon. Uh -huh. uh, uh, pentagon. Mm -hmm. Probably you want to put it after the points have been calculated, because we will need them mm -hmm. to modify the control points. Pentagon is a regular polygon. Exactly. With five sides. Exactly, uh, and make it large, like, uh, yeah, at the center, the center, and make it, like, uh, uh, yeah, um, bigger than the ring, probably. I uh -huh. think that's, mo yeah, 500. Let's, okay. see, let's see how large this is. Yeah. And draw a contour, pentagon. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. Why is it? Ah, we have translated. Ah, because we so have translated, we don't need so we don't need that. Do we need the center? Vector zero, vector two zero. zero. Yeah. Very cool. A bit smaller, maybe, mm -hmm. like 400, maybe even a bit smaller, 300. Yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so super. So now what we want to do, we want to, as we showed before, yeah. we want to extract the segments from this polygon mm -hmm. and substitute F segments with control points. Yeah. Okay. And they're going to be pulled towards... Yes, those. exactly. But here now we have to be careful to check for nullity. I mean, if the empty, if the set is empty, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Nice. And a lot of interesting thing happening <laughs> now. Uh. So we're gonna take the pentagon mm -hmm. and uh, the segments. segments. Yes. And map them. Yep. Map those segments Perfect. into new segments. Exactly. Uh, so I'll call it new S. <laughs> new for new and segments. And now we can compute the direction, uh -huh. a vector that points from the middle of the segment mm -hmm. towards the closest of the inter of the intersections. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we, we need to first query the middle point of the segment. Mm, Zero point five. Mm -hmm is this right now we need to compute the point that is closest in the yeah. intersections uh -huh. but only if it's not empty yeah sorry only if it's not empty yeah that's yeah. something right Finally. Uh, so <laughs> where is points we can say here if points psi is empty is not empty right uh, yeah it's not empty then we can do i think we can do one of these fancy things like points question mark uh, let, uh, but in this case it's not null. Ah, right, it's not null. We want to check if it's empty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So Let's, if it's yeah. not empty, we're gonna do something. Otherwise, yeah, we have to have two options maybe. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise we don't we don't uh, bend. Yeah. Okay. And in, otherwise, maybe we draw the pentagon. Yeah. 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 And maybe we no, I, I, I was thinking just, I mean, in the other case, we just don't bend. Uh -huh. we, we, we return a, seg a linear segment. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of similar, no? Either we draw here ah, yeah. a modified pentagon yeah. or the original pentagon. Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. 
So we have this pentagon, mm -hmm. we have the center. Mm -hmm. well, now we know that there are points, so mm -hmm. we have to find which one is the closest. Exactly, which we can have with indexed, I think now, right? Um, let me think. So we want one point, mm -hmm. and this point is going to be from points, mm -hmm. the mean by, by uh, distance. We can use square distance because it's, it's yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Distance to the center, right? Mm -hmm. That we just we just calculated. Mm -hmm. So maybe we, do, we don't need the index. No, no, we don't need the index. We just have no. the point. And from here we can get uh, a normalized vector mm -hmm. that points from center to nearest. Yeah. So basically we get direction, val direction, nearest minus center, normalized. Minus center. Good that you <laughs> you still have a brain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we've been coding for like two yeah, hours. Yeah, for a long time. For a long uh, time. Normalize. Exactly. So now we need the segment. Now we have to const construct, construct a segment, the segment, yeah, right? right. Segment With the same start, the, the same end. Start, it end. But at the middle, we should do center. Let me import here something. Yeah. Yes. We should do center plus direction plus dir. Center plus dir. Multiplied by a given quantity. Yeah. Okay, like, uh, yeah, 20. <laughs> 20. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now, so now we have this list of new segments. Yeah. And we want to draw that, right? Yeah. Actually, I wanted to make a, maybe we don't need it. I wanted to make a contour out of that, but maybe we don't need it. We can first try just we can directly yeah, yeah, draw, yeah, let's draw it. the segments. Yeah. Yes. Segments new sex. Uh, uh, what's going on? <laughs> we yeah. lost the segment. Segments. Mm, ah, because we are clearing ah, af after. Ah yes. So we can so. put this and we can also the center. Yeah. We so can we put this put at the this beginning. At the beginning, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's very nice, yes. Point, point. <laughs> of course, of course, I think that here we could give a bit of uh, more persistence if we, uh, instead of uh, bending directly, uh -huh. we could have uh, a pr the previous step yeah. and slowly go into the well, new... Well, I think that's going to be tricky because we don't know if we had or yeah, not before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That, this is true. This is uh, true. I'm going to make it more extreme just to see yeah. if it... Yes. Which direction? It, if it's, is it bending on the right direction? It's bending on the right direction. You see, but it's bending like this. It feels like bending to the center. No, mm, it's or? bending to... More extreme. <laughs> no, you you're see... Right, you're yeah. right. If you make it very extreme... If you make it very extreme... Uh, <laughs> and of course, the funny thing is to hide the curve, mm -hmm. like and hide <laughs> the points, so that something happened. Which but you one don't is know the curve? What it is? Uh, do you mean this one we hide? Yeah. <laughs> interesting. It's very interesting. Mm. It's very interesting, and I think we could also try to play with. Um, with uh, a cubic one. Uh -huh. So basically the second control point, we can bend it in the other direction. Mm. We'll, no, we can do center. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Maybe it shouldn't be center, but we can calculate points yes. at point zero three and, and point zero six. seven. Yeah. Yes. But we still need center though, because we won't... Ah, no, 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 no. We, uh -huh. we will do it twice. Uh -huh. Calculating the direction. Or both. Or both. So yeah. one is one is pushed in and the yeah, other. Yeah, and the other one is pushed up. Okay, so uh, we have. So this is P one mm -hmm. at zero three three three, mm -hmm. <laughs> and about P two. This is gonna be position. Oh, not mm -hmm. post position. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I guess I'm not very much into precision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this, this should be no, yes. two thirds. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to make it better, uh, it's, yeah, it's one third then one third and two yeah. thirds. <clears throat> Good. I, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> the mathematician feels better. Feels better. <laughs>
All right. So and we have to compute two nearest. Uh -huh. Nearest up and nearest down. Let's call it like this, because one will push <coughs> inside and the other one will push uh, farther oh, from. In right? and out? In and out, yeah. Nearest in. Yeah. And that's what's happening currently. Mm -hmm. uh, nearest out. Mm -hmm. uh, mean P2 here. Mm -hmm. Is the yeah the minimum the closest okay mm -hmm. now we have also the one and the two mm -hmm. yeah uh, all these to have two counter points yes uh, so we have to change ah p one and p two of course we have nearest out and this is p two mm -hmm. and finally is p one plus the one and p two minus Dear two. Minus dear two times. Same, same amount. 200. Yeah. 0.0. Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be look nice if it interpolated towards that target. Yeah. Um, but actually, kind of actually, one thing that uh, one could make, um, th the reason why I wanted to make, uh, uh, let me think. Thing. No, okay, no. <laughs> I think uh, the reason why I wanted to make this into a contour mm -hmm. is that to apply a hobby curve to the end result, mm -hmm. but I think we'll get the same thing probably. We'll get a circle. We get a circle, yeah, yeah because because it's They're basically the same yes, okay. So now, ah, but another thing that we could do if this was a contour, we could sample for points mm -hmm. along uh -huh. this curve, okay? Yeah. yeah. So let's try to make this into its own contour. Uh, uh, instead of drawing it. Okay. Okay. So here um, we, let me think. So we want to return. Ah, okay. Yeah. Here we don't want to draw it. No. But we want to create this new contour. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be. No, is no. it a shape or no? A, yeah, control out of the segment. Mm -hmm. Shape, yeah, Take shape contour, contour from. But now we are defining it into the scope of the if. Right? I know, I know. Yeah, we have to rescue mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and this is closed. Mm -hmm. Equal true. Ah, <laughs> true. <laughs> um, so we want to have this outside. Mm -hmm. mm. How do we do that? Uh, bow, 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 so we have bow. the if. So uh, what I would do actually, Make a bar. I would uh, return instead of here mm -hmm. returning. I, I would take. I would basically in the else. I would return a linear segment from start to end. Uh huh. And have segs. You know, like to bring if points inside the segment map. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, like here, yes. like a modified version. Here mm -hmm. we are returning the shape contour, and here uh, we mm -hmm. can just actually return the same thing, the original. Yeah, 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 exactly. So this way, you can do this in Kotlin. Mm -hmm. Like we have a variable, we we're gonna make it if to mm -hmm. something conditionally. It's gonna be either our new mm -hmm. uh, modified shape, uh, shape contour or the or, other one or the original. Mm -hmm. And now you wanted to query some yeah, points? Yeah, we can uh, simple points mm -hmm. around these. Uh, and also make it hairy, like we did before. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, sample, which one did we use? Uh, no, equidistant. No. Equidistant, equidistant positions. positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Point count. Like 20, 30, 100, I don't know. 200. Yeah. <laughs> let's, okay, so let's make them uh, 2,000. Uh -huh. And let's make them grow in, in the radius along the, you know, along mm -hmm. the index. Okay. All right? So that we should see a trace that becomes bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have the points. We have the points. And we want to draw them now all yes. as, as circles or what? As circles, yeah. Uh -huh. As circles. Mm, but not all at the same size. So not all of the same size. The size will depend on the index. Mm -hmm. And actually, let's make them. Uh, let's make them. Yeah, uh, the the mean increase with the index. Index. Uh, we need an index. Yeah. I. Uh, this is the position. Mm -hmm. And we want to divide again. I often do this thing of calculating mm -hmm. the, the, a t. 
yeah. which is i divided by, well, in this case, mm -hmm. 2000. So it's normalized. And we want to map that to a size. Draw exactly. Let's, uh, let's also put, uh, yeah. Let's we see, yeah. We make a, a circle yep. at a position, mm -hmm. and here, a size. The size is going to be, I don't know, 1 plus t times, times 5. 5? Five? 5 is too little, 10. Yeah. Too little 10. More generous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this now will not be filled. So we want them to be filled, uh -huh. I don't know, black or whatever. Drawer, let's fill equals black. Yeah. And maybe we don't want the curve to show. Uh, the, no. the stroke. Yes, yes. So we exactly. just see them as dots. Dots, yeah. dots. <laughs> yeah. And there we have an you increasing see? line. But yeah. now, if you do that exponentially, uh -huh. if you make like, you know, x of uh, t times 0, times 10, sorry, uh -huh. like the, in the increase will not be linear, but it will have, yeah. I like using pow. Okay. Yeah, and okay. And larger the number. Yes. But we can also do something nicer uh -huh. because, you know, here the disturbing thing that everybody has noticed is that it doesn't close well. Yeah. But we can use a sign mm -hmm. between, you know, to use the parameter t yeah. and times 2 pi. Mm -hmm. So this will uh, actually absolute of the sign probably because otherwise we have negative. Well, we can well, add we can, an offset. Yeah, let's, let's see, let's see. So we calculate a sign mm -hmm. of uh, t mm -hmm. times 2 times math. Mm -hmm. Pi. Uh, this is a number between minus 1 and plus mm -hmm. 1. Um, uh, well, and we want to, yeah, we, if we multiply by 5 and add 5, mm -hmm. then we have yeah, a line okay. that closes. Yeah, okay. So already is, is looking a bit better. And if we increase the frequency here, 4, it will do like bloop, bloop, bloop. Two times. Yes. <laughs> okay. And if we do. Wait, two times ten. Ten. Two Let's times yeah. five. Yeah. So then we have every segment. Yes. Grows and shrinks more or less. And this <laughs> is looking very nice already, like inky. Inky, like exactly, <laughs> it's looking very inky. <laughs> and uh, I think another thing that we could do is, um, I think we can, if the points are empty, are not empty. Mm -hmm. We can make the radius, in you know, depend on the closest. Uh, wait, wait. The radius depend on the yeah, on the closest intersection points. If uh -huh. if points is not empty, yeah. Now here mm -hmm. we can say like uh, uh, plus mm -hmm. um, a quantity that depends on the closest intersection point from the position of the circle. Oh, you have to tell me where. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I would say let's do something like this. Let's put here if points is yeah. not empty. In this line? No, 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 here, here. Uh, before. Yeah, yeah, if points is not empty, let me see what I want to do. Points is not, not empty. Empty. Okay. So I want to compute the distance between pos mm -hmm. and the clo the, the, and the closest point into the intersections. Okay. Okay. And if it is empty, then it should be something else. It or draws this. Default. It draws this. Ah, okay, okay. If it's empty, it draws this. Uh huh. Okay. Then else. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, like this. Exactly. So now we have to find as we did. We can probably use some code like this. Mm hmm. And yeah. To find the the closest point to pos. Distance to, to pos. pos. Okay. Um, we only need, we don't need the point, we only need the distance of this uh -huh. thing so we can get the length. Uh -huh. No, so wait, can we get the length? No, we have to, we need the, the length of pos minus p or p minus pos. Or, or the distance. Yeah. I mean, the distance between this point that we found. Yes. And distance to pos. Pos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we can uh, uh, draw the circle. We use the same line as below uh -huh. here. And plus 5, we can add the an, uh, other piece, probably, which is proportional to oh, this wait, quantity. So this is a distance, yeah. I guess. Dist, dist, yes. Like this. 
times zero one, I would say, or something like this. Oops. Oops. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was a bit extreme. Uh, but you can see that, uh -huh. like, maybe a little bit less. Uh -huh. Maybe a little bit less, and and here also I would use like uh, some exponential things so to make it. I'm gonna clean this up a bit yep. so we can just add here some offset. Ah, okay. And val all right, all right, all right. Yes. And by default, the offset is zero. Okay. And here. So basically, here you want. Uh, okay. We just want. Yep. What do we want? Distance. Uh, the distance is mm -hmm. what we are returning. Mm -hmm. Like this. Uh, All right. And w you multiply it by a small number, no? Zero, mm -hmm. zero, one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait. Oh, what's that? The drawer thing has to be inside to the the for loop. It's inside the for yeah. loop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Points. Distance to pause, maybe maybe it's too small. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it was too small. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. here we can see. Uh, uh, let's do also one other thing, maybe like uh, let's exponentiate this thing. Mm -hmm. Let's exponentiate this thing like x the offset? offset, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like x, uh, yes. Oh, I think you have to x, use uh, yeah, the x function. And uh, yes, maybe with some coefficients because now it's gonna explode. <laughs> what kind of uh, like a times zero one or something like this? Let's see what it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, like you can see that it's not linear now yeah, the yeah. dependency, nice but <laughs> it does. I like it. It's very uh, it's 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 a bit weird. <laughs> I think that if I would have to modify this, I would introduce these uh, elements, you know, of not reacting immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. the presence of the mm. of the. It should interpolate. Or it something. should interpolate actually. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It should interpolate between. Uh, uh, yeah like basically returning to the original position mm -hmm. or going towards the the center. Can we? to end use color yes so the color, color is uh, so let's make it change along the you want to make it change along the along the curve based also on the on those values ah nice how can we do that um, we can use the offset maybe to mix two colors no Oh, we can just shade. We shade? Can, you can okay. use a number between zero and one. Okay. And what do we have a number between zero and one? Uh, uh, one plus sign. No, this is not between zero and one. This is this between, is between zero, zero and one. two. But this is not affected by the coefficient uh -huh. of. Uh, so here we have the yeah. this one. So I would I would put this and make it very small. Like it's not between zero and one, but nothing bad is going to happen. So what, what does ex this exponential number da give? Basically, it, transform, it, it doesn't give you a linear rea uh, relation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So like basically, if the, the distance is double, mm -hmm. this is exp of double. Uh -huh. So it accentuates somehow these... Uh, yeah. So if I divide, can off be zero? <laughs> off? Uh, yeah, it can be zero. Ah, yeah, right. So then... 1.0 one, 1 plus off. 1.0 plus off. <laughs> oh, it's, it means that it's all, almost always zero. Off? Offset? Yeah, yeah because you know, when, the, when off is very big, this yeah. thing is zero. Yeah. When, right? When this what is zero, is? this is one. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. <laughs> this is really, really nice. Yeah, it would be also nice that it was uh, like more curved, so there would be black and white. Yeah, can, can you make the, the curve move slowly? Because so we will have less of these... Yeah. Uh, Where do we have I seconds? Think, I think that seconds. the sum is he this yeah, one? here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, but then... <laughs> too, much, too slow? <laughs> then it's too slow, yeah. But it's very nice. I like the effect of the shading. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. it's like basically the intersection becomes a point of light. 
mm-hmm. because the closer it is, yeah. the lighter it is. So it's <laughs> almost like a point light, right? Yeah. That's almost it. It would be nice to shift it more towards white. Shift it more towards... I think we need uh, exponent or pow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you want to make it smaller, so like um, like two dot zero? No, so the other way around then. Zero like, yeah. five. <laughs> now it's completely white. Try zero dot nine. Uh, where's my nine here? <laughs> ah, okay. Now it's lighter. And, and now it will become darker if you go above, yeah. 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 <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so I think this concludes our experimentation with contours. Um, but here we have seen basically how, I mean, we've used almost everything <laughs> that we showed today. Yeah. And also, I think that the interesting thing that one sees at the beginning is that a contour does have, does have not to be taught as rendered via contour. Mm-hmm. Like in this way, in this case, we are rendering like with little dots yeah, on true. the line. So yeah. that's an important somehow... You can use a contour as a temporary intermediate uh, exactly, data structure. Yes, basically a data structure, exactly, yeah. yes. But then you can use other shit, you can use square, and this will give you a different texture. Mm. So that's, I think, an important thing that you don't have to draw things with contour. Contour yeah. in this case is more of a... Uh, yeah, as you said, as a data, data yeah. structure object. Sometimes you can create contours which you use to create other contours but you don't draw the mm-hmm. the original ones yes yeah. so because remember not everything that you don't see doesn't have an effect <laughs> there are some things that one doesn't need to see them directly but they can control what mm-hmm. comes after yeah okay so we hope you enjoyed and we hope to uh, uh, like feel your presence or whatever <laughs> in the next um the next episodes yeah Bye. See you then. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.